This is a recap for Tuesday, January 18th. We worked on um, IXL J3 today and J8, and here's what I did in class. I um, did some problems, and we actually took notes. So if you want to write some of these examples down, I showed them how to take 1 to 3 and turn it into a fraction that is more familiar. So then we take that, and the because the 5 goes first, then it is the numerator. And so then this is what we're trying to find. So we have to find the multiplier. Five 1 times 5 is 5, so 3 times 5 is 15. So go ahead and get some examples into your notes, or get these examples into your notes. So I'll put 15 here. So we're going to do, I'm going to write it this way, 1 to 2 equals 5 to an unknown. The multiplier is, is 5. One, 2 times 5 is 10. So if you happen to be missing some of these every once in a while, go ahead and just write them down like this and put them in the form of a fraction that, we're, that you're probably more familiar with than uh, compared to a colon. Um, and the order does matter. So this 5 to 2, I can't write this 5 to 2 like this. That is going to give me a mis mistake. It's going to create a mistake. It is has to be 5 over 2 because of the order. And then this box has to be on top. This is what we're trying to find. And this 20 has to be here. So now I'm going to, simp or I'm going to find the multiplier, 2 times 10. That gives me... 5 times 10, and that gives me this 50. So we'll put in a 50 there, and maybe do one more. All right, find the number that makes the ratio equivalent to 1 to 5. So we'll put 1 to 5 equals 2 to blank. 1 to times 2 equals 2, 5 times 2 is equal to 10. So I'll put in the 10. Okay, the other one that we worked on today was J8. So if you want to go, uh, if you're watching this, you want to kind of stop and go check out J8. And then come back. Um, Go to J8. And these have, uh, some of them are shorter like this, some are a little bit longer. Um, but we have to pay attention to the story and to the order. And so Kendra wants to buy an iced tea at the movie theater. The small cup is 12 ounces and costs $1.68. So I'm going to put $1.68. Whoops. We go. I'm going to put $1.68 on top and 12 ounces on the bottom. And that's the small cup. The medium is going to be $2.40 for 16 ounces. And so you're going to grab a calculator and you're going to do 1.68 divided by 12 to get 1 ounce. And instead of just writing 0 0.14, you're going to write 14 cents per 1 ounce. And then on your calculator, you do 2.4 divided by 16, and you get... 15 cents, 0 0.15 dollars for one ounce. Now you can compare them. So I would stop the video right now and make sure you get this example right here. Just all of this that I'm highlighting 
everything in your notes. Get it all written the way that you see it there. And make sure that you get some of this story as well. Kind of the basics of the story. All right. Let's put in, uh, I believe it was medium. So I just erased it. I guess I could undo that. There it is. Um, yeah, the medium was... Uh, Oh, a better deal. Actually, the small is a better deal because it's 14 cents. The medium cost 15 cents. All right. So the small is a better deal. All right, Dylan and Samantha work at two different grocery stores. Dylan made $41.50 for five hours, so I'm going to write down for Dylan... $41.50, five hours, and for Samantha, we're going to put $50.40 for six hours. So on my calculator, I do $41.50 divided by five, and I get eight dollars and thirty cents per hour and so I'm gonna instead of just eight point three I'm gonna write eight dollars and thirty cents per hour and I'm gonna put in fifty point four zero divided by six and I get eight dollars and forty cents per hour and I'm gonna read the question really carefully eight dollars and forty cents per hour and it says, who makes more money per hour? So that would definitely be Samantha. Okay, so this is a really important one because I can see with the question here, I'm going to highlight this question. It says, how much more? And I can tell, even before the subject, that it's going to be a little tricky, a little bit more to it. So we, I'm just highlighting that at the beginning. Jam World Amusement Park sells special multi-day passes for guests who want to visit the park more than one day. The most popular pass are three-day passes, which cost $207 for three days. So I'm going to say the three-day, and then we've got the seven-day. So this is going to be... $2, $207. I'm going to put money on top, days on the bottom. And this one is $364 for seven days. So $207 divided by three works out to be $69 a day. $364 for divided by seven works out to be fifty two dollars per day and then it says how much more does a three-day pass cost per day than the seven-day pass so we have to do sixty nine minus fifty two and it's $17 per day more. So we're going to put in $17 per day. So be careful with these where it's asking how much more or how much is the difference between something. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to pull up this because the other thing we did in class today, we worked on uh, the Desmos from last week called exchange rates. And we pretended that we had a trip to, let's say, period three, we did Italy. Well, in Italy, they use euros. And so we looked up the exchange rate. And we pretended that we had $150. And we needed to change that into euros. And we needed to know well, how many euros would we have. So here's how we did it. We put $150 over a one to make it a numerator. And we wanted the exchange rate with $1. So this is $1 so that the dollars would 
cancel out. Dollar divided by dollar is one. So we found out that the exchange rate is 0 0.88 euros. So the dollars cancel. 150 times 0 0.88 is 132. So we have 132 euros. Has the same value as $150. Then we can go the other direction. We can say, well, if we have 132 euros and we want to change them back to dollars, we have to put it over one times and we want one euro on the bottom. Turns out to be dollar thirteen. So euros oops cancel with euros. Hundred and thirty-two times one point one three equals interestingly one hundred and fifty three um, dollars and fifteen cents. And so how we explain this difference is if we do 1 divided by 0.88, 1 divided by 0.88, we actually get, so if I do 1 divided by 0 0.88, it's not really 1.3, it's really 1.36, three six three repeating so when we when we cut that off and made those zeros we actually made it this number a little different we made that number go up saying that we got more dollars per for every euro that's how we ended up with those three extra dollars because of a, a rounding all right and so we talked about exchange rates and so you can now uh, at least try the exchange rate or it's called exchange rates, Desmos from week 14. And then uh, last thing is work on, uh, if you're watching from home and you're trying to keep up with what we're doing, we did the week 14 Blukit game to play. Here, I'll show you where it is. Let's close that out. And we'll go just to... Um, here, classwork, okay, week 14 resources, um, blue kit, do week 14 blue kit game to play and type your first name, last initial, if you've played it before. Type your first name, last initial, and then a two or a three or however many times you have played it. And that is a recap for Tuesday, January 18th.